The Gateway Hotel in Port Mosby was packed to capacity for the 2016 National Leaders Summit. Government ministers, members of parliament, departmental heads, including other stakeholders, were all present for the opening address by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill highlighted the importance of this summit and what it means to the country. This meeting gives us an opportunity to set new plans, new goals for our 8 million people, men, women and children in this country. It also gives us an opportunity to look at honestly what we have done over the past few years and look at it honestly as to where we are today as a nation. In particular, we look at sectors like our public sector, how we can do better in 2016, and of course beyond 2016. He outlined the challenges facing the country posed by the drop in global commodity prices. However, he was optimistic about the future. He says the government is taking appropriate steps to manage the economy through these trying times. So today, as we have this summit, we are approaching the management of our, of our country in a very realistic manner so that we can effectively manage our national economy in a very much changing global environment. We are trying to avoid the shocks that are beyond our control. So in 2016 budget, as we presented in Parliament, we have in fact reduced spending to well below 2015 levels. The government has made significant progress in its key priority areas of education, health, law and order and infrastructure development. However, O'Neill says more needs to be done and that is true reforming the public service. Our challenge is to reform the public sector. Our challenge is to cut the red tape cut the processes that impede our businesses from growing. It must be across the board. It must be to encourage investor confidence in the country. We need to commit ourselves to working together with investors and business sector across the countries, across many sectors. This is crucial in creating conducive environment for investments in a time of serious economic challenges. The government is also looking at expanding the country's economic base by investing more in the agriculture and SME sectors. He says the country has for too long depended on the resources sector to drive the economy without developing other sectors of the economy that can potentially cushion the economic challenges experienced today. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.